go. Scotty, Martin, Satan, Mindright, Alkerion, Mina, 6-4, Kitten, Sothan, Alkerion. Oh, good stream, everybody. <clears throat> yes, it is another shorter stream today. I need to go and pick up my knobhead girlfriend again. Hopefully today's the last day. So, Marbles is going to be one hour early. Sothan says cloudy lemonade, Satan says fizzy orange, Kitten says lemonade, Alkyrian says chop drink, Six Four says pepper max, Cherry Mina says ginger beer, Scotty says cloudy lemonade, Martin says Pepsi Max. Give me a second, give me a second, they all well. Not bad, oh, that'll not get you points for that, it's fine, I've already, I'm already at zero. We're good, welcome to the stream everybody, good morning, or afternoon, or whatever works. Allow me to start the day with a nice fat finesse. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right, yeah, we've got two hours today, so what we're going to do is, I suppose, just continue. I think it might, actually. Would she be with me if she wasn't into self-deprecation and stuff like that? I paid for three hours, not two. Hey Siri, delete Doomhouse Gaming. Get shit on mine. I like to disappoint, and I will be. It's a fucking iron brew, kitten. Uh, kitten, sorry, mean it. It's true. Siddles will be squealing like a little girl. Now, Siddles gets upset if you don't have the full sugar, full fat version. So, I get to enjoy the beverage without pleasing Siddles. Martin, thank you for 18 months. He's been here for two years. Can you believe it? Let's get in. Yesterday, if you recall, we spent our time working with some robots on the good ship USS Constitution. They have had me running north, south, east and west around the Commonwealth, finding parts and components and repairing bits and bobs on their ship. Because, like a bunch of fucking losers, they don't have fingers. I do, therefore I've been used as their fucking skivvy. So I think I've got some kind of navigation tool or something, we're heading back. I've had to fix wires, I've had to fix electrical components, I've had to kill a bunch of raiders to steal a new part from. I've got no hands. <laughs> Siri said, sorry, I couldn't do that. Martin, I appreciate the sub as always. The reveal too fast, I'd have been wrong anyway, but guessing would have been nice. Sorry, mind right, yeah. Well, I'm in a bit of a hurry today, of course. So let's get in and let's take the current piece back to the robots on the USS Constitution. They think they're going to get this ship back up and running. It's trapped on top of some buildings. It's nowhere near the Charles River. It's not even in it, let alone ready to move. But it does have rocket boosters on, so either it's going to blow up in their face or we're about to see something magical. Her girlfriend has a knob head. True. Okay. We are just slightly north in what is called County Crossing, I believe. We helped these good people out secure their, um, their farmland. And they are now well and set up and providing a bed and a place to drink for dear old Zuski. Rivers, where are we going? Who needs rivers? Who are all these people? This is more people. Oh, is this the trader? It might be. Who are you? World out there. Good Isn't it just? Otherwise, no business for that. Unless the rules on names after marriage are changed, research suggests that everyone in Japan will have the surname Sato by 2,531. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is everybody in the UK going to be called Smith as well? Fuck. Jamie, welcome to the stream and thank you for the bits. What am I doing today? Uh, I am... I've got a plan after, if I can finish the business at the Constitution. Am I right? And then, uh, yes, Mr. Doctor. Are you really a doctor? Am I a doctor? Let me show you my degree from the school of saving wise asses like you. I'm a positive institution in these parts, so you need help or what? Um, do I? I say I do. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. You have any of those symptoms? Tell me about them. The symptoms? They're a little yellow family from Springfield. Just hurt all over. Huh, you look fine, but... Oh wait! Just gonna get yep. cured up before That's we go. That's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Yes, mind right. He's on stream right now. Make Shut up, man. And I'll end you, wastelander. Do you think he's from the east coast? You got kid? more problems? It's um, open, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll see you soon. It keeps saying that I've got an addiction. 
So that's a lot of caps, though. They might be to psycho checks. I've been popping a lot of it lately to stay alive. He's a doctor as much as Trim is a doctor of Eastern medicine. Do you know what? I'll humour him. Took one chem too many. Anything you can do? All part of good living, am I right? Let me give you something that'll flush out the aftertaste. Oh, it's creepy. Eat what you want, Kim. Oh, I'm going to sign Done. off. Now, I'm going to eat so much candy today. You? Nope, that'll do. Thank you, friend. No other complaints. Off you go, then. Right, lovely. We are, should now, then, be cured of everything, apart from whatever that mole rat disease is, which I still don't know what that is. Apparently, I've been bitten by a rat, but that's fine. I've got a bit of radiation, but we can Stick to the that. roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. I will, thank you, friend. Okay, let's go back to the Constitution. Prediction is up 220k on... Jesus. I wrote a bot script to get past website security. So far, it's managed to evade capture. <laughs> so dumb. That's quite good. I made it read out properly. Santa, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the bits. Seem to remember the time when you were urgently begging for a dot. I know, right? Well, that's before Overseer's Guardian. Now we've got Overseer's Guardian. Things have My changed. My girlfriend bought me the Karma Sutra, which put me in a very awkward position. <laughs> Alright, Sandra, I'll give you that. They're both quite good. The chick photobomb in the background was funny as hell. What was the somebody pulling a face while I was talking to the good doctor? Alright, I'm tired from a lack of sleep, but that's fine. We are heading over here to the ship. Santa's maybe got a bot right in his bits. Let me just read. Uh, the captain of the USS Constitution Ironsides has ordered me to assist in repairing his vessel. I went out and got something from over that over there somewhere and I'm heading back to the ship now. Maybe rabies, I suppose. Look, you can tell so thank you in this game, look. But he's not here. Because he's got a bad back. He's suffering at the moment. Everybody sends so then a big kiss. Uh, let Discord know there's a prediction going for a very few minutes, if you can. Did Catch actually say anything? He did, yeah. He, um, he said a few things, but he said he's going to turn it off. Disgusting behaviour. That bot would be a joke. Look at these rocket boosters, look. I think this thing is going to fly off over the horizon. Did I forget to turn it off? Sorry, it's the first day it's been on, I promise. <laughs> so then got nuked. Alright, let's reboard. Look at this, by the way. So this is the USS... Which apparently exists. The USS Constitution. I had no idea. But it's not in the river, as you can tell, because it's trapped on top of a building. And the robots that were manning it are all that's left. So they're promoted from within... And now Ironsides, a sentry bot, is in charge. I've just noticed... Oh, two antibiotics is massive. I've just noticed there's a fucking terminal here. Let's have a look. Anchor up. You upgrade logs. No bugs. Intermittent crashing when accessing you. Okay, data corruption issues. It might be a good backup to back up your data. Okay. Surgeon's notes. Car processes. Okay, remember it's fixed. This is just terminal updates, right? Tourist functions disabled. New dictionary added. Captain's orders. Data corruption issue escalated. Variable revolution begins not declared as long last. I'm now unburdened from the yoke of tourist services. Let the enemies of America beware. HMS Belfast in this world is on top of Carnery Wharf. Yeah, I bet. Look at this look. Variable revolution begins not declared as at long last. I am now unburdened from the yoke of tourist services. Let the enemies of America beware. I think the sentry bot was on tourist services before. Tourist information. As per captain's orders, the ship is to be overhauled for war. All ye tourists fear the awesome might of the USS Constitution. It's in a, it's in a dry dock in real life as well. Fuck. Yeah, it's a real ship. You could take tours of it and everything. That's well good. All right. All Iron sides. Well. Hello. Look, you can tell he's the captain. He's got a captain's hat on. I'm putting this gun away in case I accidentally shoot one of them. Right, so I've got the, the new component Hunt for... Speed. Hello, Sir, Navigator. Nuts. So I should have a new part for your guidance radar. This is the guidance system radar, which was salvaged from a Coast Guard vessel. Practically all of the components have been repaired or replaced. 
The only broken component is a burned, uh, sorry, burned out Poseidon radar transmitter, which is a rare part that's only used in Poseidon facilities. A master repairman may be able to repair the dead one. I can't, couldn't because my intelligence is at rock bottom, so I went and got a new one from a Poseidon energy facility. Install. You've removed the burned out transmitter and replaced it with a new one you found. After a moment, LEDs flicker to life and the radar system reports it is fully operational. I love this, like... There's something a bit... This is like the Dungeon Master's talking to me. Did a tow when I went to Boston seven years ago. Talk with the Navigator. Is that good? Mr. Navigator? Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, madam. Okay. Thank you. Oh, he bowed to me, did he? Did he just bow? He did. Everybody bow. Be courteous to our navigator. Hello, Ironsides. Been of service to our noble vessel. Despite ample provocation, I had hoped the guidance ship could be recovered without violence to the scavengers. Even now, they plot on their retaliation. I couldn't. Sp I couldn't. I would have spared them if I could have. I have no doubt that they made a peaceful resolution impossible. True. But you did your duty and did it well. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now, can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Find FL30 FLL3 turbo pump bearing. God damn fucking fetch the oh. Right, where's that? How far away is that? Are you shitting on my bum? Is that in Lexington? It's in Corvette. Uh, I need you to play 40 hours of Sea of Thieves with me as punishment. I don't think it's really a spoiler. The voice line change depending on how you present yourself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I had a feeling it might. All right, we've got to go to Corvette. Press 1 to be really lazy and fly over there. James L. Jones' voice. It does sound a bit like him. Train, welcome to the stream. 100k on Team 1. Kovig is not cleared, is it, actually? No flying, says CCK. CCK, good afternoon. Mina and CCK have said walk. Alkirion has said fly. I'm in major debt. It's all right, Trim, we can survive this. It's only Kovig. Thanks for confirming it's James L. Jones. All right, five, four, three, two, one. With four votes to one, I am walking. Brilliant. Okay. I might go back up to County Crossing just to sleep so I can bank progress. Corvega again! I died twice in Corvega. They were the first two deaths. Tits. Actually, what am I doing going this way? Let's go. This just means another chance to run into each other. Now I'm going. I'm not going near you. Thank you very much. And your horde of death claws. Voting on whether I should walk to the destination or fly kin. Tad more powerful now. That is true. Someone was yelling at something outside. Is it that guy singing again? Yeah, I've um, I've downloaded a no-clip mod, Martin, so I can just fly to places to get around the uh, fast travel limitation. Who goes there? I did whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Just some raids. Hello, Overseer's Guardian. Would you like to dispense of that gentleman? Just a little raider wandering around. Apparently the whole raider groups have been wanting to scavenge the Constitution for ages, but they've faced resistance from our robot friends. Proper fight looking like it was about to break out. You know I'm fine. I've got my papers. I was a lawyer, don't forget. Right, we are... Heading west, you'll be glad to know. What about option three, skip the... Skip there, singing a silly song. 
I'll get snagged by all kinds of death claws and stuff if I behave like that. Right. This is fine. We're just going to walk through this area of northern Boston we've never been to and we don't know what's in it. It could be full of dangerous bullshit that could kill me in one hit. And we're going to regret ever suggesting that we walk instead of fly. I really don't know this area. Overseer's Guardian's going to be doing some big carrying. Oh, we're here. Okay. What's in here? Let me just check this while we're passing. What do you reckon? Raiders, super mutants, are friendly. I thought you weren't afraid of my kin and I with our new, new super killer gun. Bunker Hill. These settlers are... I'm scrolling. Hello? It's a caravan worker and it seems peaceful. Is this a trading post, maybe? Yeah, they're friendly. Hello, everybody! How are things? Hi, Hello, youngster. I'm Meg. Am you new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody Pressure. knows a place like me. That's <laughs> a red speech check to rip off a child. Do you know what? What's in the tour? All sorts of things. Get a jump on the other traders. Come on, it's just ten caps. Our woman. Sure, I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's Jesus. in the back, bars in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Gossy, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. For that guy. Press 1. To... No. So is this a trade? It must be a trading post or something. Scammed by a child. <laughs> Are you all traders? Nice outfit. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. This your store? Uh, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. True. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravans, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Is that one of the Kardashians? Speaking of which... I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look yeah. at them. So lonely. You give raiders protection money? Yep. Surprise me, a Kessler managed to pull that off, but she's convinced them that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up mayor. There, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. It does look like the mother of the Kardashians, doesn't it? Mind thinking of the bits. Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Sure. Let's take a look. You'll find something you like. Everyone does. Right. I'm going for 308. Uh, six bullets. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll keep me alive for a minute. What weapons does she have? Wastelanders. For... Damn, that's got a recon scope on it. But it'll be a recon scope for a pistol, won't it? There's 50% more limb damage. An SMG, a revolver rifle, and two shotguns. Black Ops chest piece. Black Ops shin guards. Oh, that makes you run faster. Destroyer's left arm. It's more strength and endurance. That's more health and more carry capacity. The mining helmet, though. If this was seven days, that would be very uh, valuable. All right, you've got absolutely nothing of value. Is there anything I can sell her, though, while we're out? Because I haven't actually been back to a shop for a while, have I? I don't use 38 ammo, so you can have all that. I don't use 45 ammo anymore, so you can have all that. Uh, I don't use 556, five, so you can have all that. Bang. Gamma rounds. Yep. And shotgun shells. Couple of caps in my pocket. Is it expensive? I didn't need to actually look at the price 6 for. Is it ridiculous? Chaz, welcome to the stream. Good morning. At least you got the important information of where the outhouse is. Everyone wants a piece of what oh, I Oh, it's Cricket. Don't eye the Brahmin if hey, you've Cricket. Got any sense. Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms. Big Cricket, booms. calm down. So I wonder if Cricket's based out of Bunker Hill. Because we know Cricket, she patrols. 
I'll take a look. Sure. Just think how damn good it'll feel holding one of these. Calm down. Oh, she's got 308 though, and lots of it. Wait, I'm not wearing my gear. Do we care? Okay, I'm getting so rich, I'm not worried about prices. I need to always... Apart from now, because I can't bother to go back out, but I need to pay close attention to um, the fact that I need to wear my gear at all times. Good work, Cricket. Right, what? Have you got a... Su no, I don't need a suppressor anymore, do I? Okay, uh, weapons, what have you got? Although I am going straight down and looking for suppressed stuff. She's got spray and pray still. At some point, I'm going to buy spray and pray because the bullets explode on impact. Imagine if I had an SMG that just... Two and a half grand. I can get that down by wearing my charismatic outfit. The chess piece was 7k. Loads of caps. I've got caps for... I've got loads of caps. And now we're finally getting fucking combat rifles with suppressors on. Now I don't need it. A 50 caliber bull action pipe pistol. Who puts a 50 cal receiver on a pipe? <laughs> okay. Is that a gamma gun? Plasma, but Jesus. You know what? Thank you, Cricket, as always. Is there a I bed in here there? Most of what's here myself, so it's all guaranteed. I'm going to kill this girl at some point. Imagine spray and prey on a fat man. Don't Google that for me. Okay, is there a bed? I could do with a bed. Oh, there's a water pump and everything. Oh, I can fill my bottles. Purified water. We're going. No, I could twitch you, uh, Cricket is. I bet she's wild. She seems a bit... Erratic. She reminds me of a character on Always Sunny called Cricket 2. I wonder if it's based on that. Could very well be. Is this Sothan? No. Right, can I sleep here, please? Fuck! The drug addict ex-priest. Gotta be then, right? I tell you what, I can sleep at Carl Vega, can't I? Near the railroad. Did join the railroad with all this shit? I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? Hey, you, talk some sense into my numbskull son. The railroad? Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Tell me there's not a railroad for freeing sins. Sir, can I talk to you? What's the railroad? The freedom fighters, willing to risk their lives for sins. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. That actually is. You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. Is it not a little bit offensive to have a thing to free synths called the Underground Railroad? Sleep on Martin Bridge 2.0. Hey, hey, this is between the two of you. We got a good life here, and you'd throw it all away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands. What an underbite, by the way. Go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Hey, 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 we're not CCK um, sympathizers here. Sense of the enemy. I wouldn't mind getting some service here. Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well, hit up Numbskull over there. Need a place to stay? Grab it before someone else does. All right. Here's your money. Sleep lightly. The raiders don't always play by the rules. So where's the bed? Yeah, that, uh, that strikes me as feeling a little bit insensitive. I might maybe be in a bit... 2024 there. But even for somebody that doesn't prescribe to a lot of that, that kind of feels a bit, a bit much. I don't think they made them slaves, necessarily. They, the sins that escape from the Institute get tracked down and dragged back in. Um, where's this bed? I just paid for a bed. Have I been ripped off again? Where's my bed? The one of your free Chris Man sexy robot collection. Yeah, but calling it the Underground Railroad seems a bit on the nose, does it not? The Institute 
er, frames. Where is this fucking bed I've purchased? I do you know what balls to it. I'm going. I'm just going. We're off to the mission. Foot bunker you hill. Care. Caravan or raider? What? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. I'm done, thank you, Kessler. Caravan or raider? Shut up! Silent type, huh? Just don't cause any trouble. Are they bad? The synths aren't necessarily. They, I suppose the synth. The, so the, if the Institute is what we think it is, which is some big shadowy organization that's located somewhere in the Commonwealth, that's what the Brotherhood are here to root out and destroy. The synths are. We don't know for what purpose they are made, but what we do know is every now and again some of them escape, and they're desperate for their minds to be wiped. Hey, Tobler, Caravan or Raider? It's just me, Martin. It's just me. I don't know if I paid for that bed. I'm angry about the whole bed situation, so we're just going to keep going and go, and go back to Corvega. But, like, I fully understand the link calling them... The the Underground Railroad. I understand the, the historical link, but it just feels maybe a bit too serious of a of a, of a thing to reference. It's a bit on the light. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Am I only what that might, might be the yeah? Is that a fucking Sentry Bot? What is that? Who is that? Oh, it's a Brotherhood Knight. Oh, I love this. Yes. It's a bit... Uh, yeah. I don't know. It might be alright. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. That's if they exist. Is that what the Freedom Trail's all about? Wasn't the Freedom Trail to do with the Underground Railroad? Because that's a real thing as well, isn't it? Wasn't the Freedom Trail the thing that they were left clues, weren't they, to to try and escape and get to a place where they can all group together and look at it? I love this. The Brotherhood just exist in places now. It seems there's been Town Brewery as well. Okay, Carvega's in this direction. An area we know well. We're travelling at night as well, which should help with stealth. There's just some jet and a blood bug. Yeah, that thing we discovered yesterday, I think, is actually real. Where if you aim with vats and then come out of vats, your target is bang centred on the thing you're looking to kill. Definitely have to Google it to confirm. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes if they if they actually do exist and if it's a case of if it's handled pretty well. Then I suppose it's fine. Oh, I don't want this, I don't want a short stream today. This is annoying me. Yeah, this is a short stream, so marbles is an hour earlier. Everybody, Dougie, welcome to the stream. Oh, I was about to read that then. I don't know why bits are so delayed. Hey, I'm late because I had to take my kids to daycare and stop at work quick. Get me into the prediction late because you love me. <laughs> Even I don't have the power to do that, Dougie. You've missed out. What does the prediction look like anyway? I didn't actually get a chance to look because I was busy talking. I assume the prediction's pretty um, balanced. Pepsi Max. Santa, it's an iron brew and you know it is. I can't believe I'm going back to fucking Lexington. If I die, in here, 157k to 219 yes to no. Somebody's put some fat channel points. I feel for Shake yesterday, by the way. Shake, are you here by any chance? Dougie, good morning, by the way. Shake put a grand on Team 2 yesterday, and then somebody came in and put 20k on Team 2. So Sheikh was like, oh, whoever that was, you screwed me. So he had to put... So they, he then put another 20k on, which meant that he was Team 2's leader with 21,500 channel points. And Team 2 lost. 
<laughs> so somebody baited him into throwing more points on a losing bet. Sat my Dougie Martin. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna go up and sleep on the uh, on the rebar bridge. But it might mean I have to cross through Lexington. I'm a lot more powerful than I have been previously. But you know what ghouls are like. They've killed me in this town once before. Have I got three deaths in Lexington? I actually might do. That's bad. And I never usually approach from this side of town. Martin Bridge is behind us, Martin. This is Rebar Bridge. Martin Bridge in Miser Macau is famous because you crashed on it. This one's famous because of the fucking Rebar incident. Seems quiet. For now. Just don't aggro like a massive pile of ghouls. Oh yeah, Scotty, are you still here? I'll need your opinion, everybody. Scotty had the idea, and he mentioned it to me this morning, that yesterday I started the stream, or was it the day before I can't remember, whichever the stream I uh, assaulted Fort Strong, Who was he fighting? Hard to tell. You are invincible. Just stroll through whistling a tune. No. Yeah, yesterday I assaulted Fort Strong. And I landed in the airship. Well, I'm not going to hit that shot because of the railings, am I? And I landed the airship and I died on the um, during the airship fight, right? You all remember that? I got gunned down. But because the game crashed, I reverted to before the death in Scotty's mind. Therefore, I could revert the chop if I wanted to. But if you think about it, I reverted back to that bed when I died anyway. I don't think... It, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. The death is absolutely a death. Yeah, regardless. I don't know if you're still here, Scotty, but yeah. Because if you think, when I died on the airship, I reverted back to the bed. And then I went again and crashed, and that reverted me back to the bed. And either way, I think if I die to miss... Is there, this is the lower entrance to Corvega, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Freedom Trail is a Boston area tour of sites of historical significance, mostly during the Revolutionary War. It's nothing to do with the railroad, okay. So the Freedom Trail must be something different. It's just the, the name, the Freedom Trail, because I've got a quest in game to follow the Freedom Trail or something like that. that. That part of me thought that must lead to. Yeah. Thank you, Mindre. Okay, so this is the lower entrance to uh, Calvega. We've been in here before, which was fatal. Okay, thanks, Bethesda. No way, this turret's still up. I feel like it is, but I could very well be wrong. It's been a long time since we've studied it. Well, Mindwright says it's not. They've rebuilt the turret. How? Is that ghoul waking up? No, it's just stuck in the fucking ground. Have the raiders respawned? Let me get the pistol out and just deal with this. Light. Fuck, the raiders have respawned. Fuck. You're right, Alkirion, it's not cleared. Alright, we know about this place. Who's out there? At least we know the layout, so there's no reason to die in here immediately. But now I'm terrified because I've died in here before. We don't want to uh, rustle the can chimes, do we? It's a death trap, yeah. Exactly. Is that a guy? No. I'm in here to find a part for the Constitution. Oh, Please don't be fair. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. Overseer's <laughs> 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 Guardian, do your work, please. Oh. <laughs> There's a few different things for it. 
This is where I died to oil. And I refuse to do it again. There's the oil, look. So if I'm going to shoot down that corridor... I probably just shouldn't shoot down that corridor. But the thing's in this direction. This room was full of raiders last time. There's a turret somewhere. Where? All these raiders are... Never mind. God, I'm so much more powerful now. When I came in here last time, I didn't even have a suppressor. Oh shit, okay, there's a turret that I may have forgotten about. I don't know if it shows. There you go, mean it. Stress ball. God, there was a good stress ball moment in It Takes Two last night. That game's great. Military grade circuit boards. What? Ghouls, 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 ghouls. I forgot about these two ghouls. These are the two that Alcarion said he thought would get me at the start of the game. Level 40 as well. Ding. You forgot about the turret when you mentioned it 30 seconds ago. Did I really? I said there was a turret in there. Alright, level 40. I haven't slept, I just realised. Armour 2 I could take. Chris Man 2, I'm still not sure about that. If that just said a higher chance, I'd take it. But the fact it says I get three times more XP for kills in a short period makes me doubt whether I'm going to get the most out of that when it comes to... I do want to take it eventually. Oh my word! Check that out. Single fucking perk. A single perk gets me plus 25% more damage. Woof. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just test something. Let's run a test. Um, Overseer's Guardian. Before I take this perk, it does 178 damage. That's probably with a little bit of adrenaline. So if I take Lone Wanderer, it goes up to... <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Overseer's Guardian just gets better and better and better. Overseer's Guardian now does 222 base damage. Oh, I love this gun. You forgot about the turret, sorry. So in the one in Boston, you read just historically significant sites like Mindrate says, yeah. Uh, when asking if it's part of the Underground Railroad, it says it is, so I'm wondering if it's got one got its name from the other. But also, there is a thing that happened in North Carolina where they put bodies on display to warn against rebellion. That's from the Smithsonian. So there's at least two different instances. There alone, yeah. The Constitution is part of it as well. The oldest commercial building in Boston, the oldest church, a church built on the site of a granary that's significant to the cemetery, which predates the church. Huh. Yeah, Kitten might be right, though. Did they name it the Freedom Trail based on the railroad? But probably that would have come up while you were searching, right? As you both say. Okay, there's more tourists in this direction. No fair, I need to spend my perks now, it seems. 222 base damage on Overseer's Guardian is insane. Yeah, maybe not then, Kitten, yeah. I mean, we'll do the quest and we'll see from this point forward, right? We'll let the game reveal it, if that's what's, what it is. Well, there's something about you saying if the gun made the game too easy, you drop it. I mean, I considered it, but I don't think anything makes this game that easy, right? Is that a raider? It is. I'll just get rid of him. Just dispatch him, because obviously his guardian can do that kind of thing. Right, I need to go up, don't I? If I remember, the elevator takes me up to the top floor. Let's see if Alkyrion's respawned. Going down. Great Mentats! Just in a box. Lower level. Lower level. I remember there is a historical fact and what the game has done with those facts is an alternate... Oh, true. Remember, this is an alternate timeline stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'll have a blood bug stick to get properly fed and then we'll have some purified water. Isn't the way out of City 17 in Half-Life called the Underground Railroad? It is, yeah, for a similar reason, right? Because the Combine have taken over, so... It is, it's in the main office, isn't it? Okay, let's start picking this shit off. Do I get Alkyrion back? He's there! Alkyrion's alive! Alright, let's see if Alkyrion lasts a bit longer this time. First person to pick one of these. If the first person is correct, they're the best person in the world. 
I think the symbol they used for these trials found in the Underground Railroad, but not sure if that was ever used as a name for it. Very well could have been called the Freedom Trail instead of the Underground Railroad. Maybe. Yeah, they, they used those symbols in Half-Life as well, right? Martin was first on my screen. I concur with Dougie Fresh. Martin's first and he says alone. If this is right, he's the first person to do this in the whole playthrough. Three, two, one. No, but likeness two. We're going to get Alkarion online. Can't be Texas. Can't be drink. Can't be trees. Can't... Can't be globe. No, can be globe. In fact, no, it can't be globe. Could be... Sp can't be spent. Can't be based. Can't be ghost. Or skins. Or gangs. Or board. Fuck me. Or train. Or weights. Or giant. Or booty. So it's front, right? Nice. Six four, you were correct. Kitten, again, if you were just right, if you were just ahead of Martin by an inch. <laughs> Alright, I'll carry on. Let's put him back. I'm, I dare do anything other than Fire Brigadier at this point. Activate. Booty for fun. Speaking of fun, Alkirion. Good luck. Have the Raiders not seen him? Unidentified intruder detected. Go on, Alkirion. You got this. Snap him up. I'll just shoot the car. That car's going to go up. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alkarion's hitting his fucking shot. Gotcha. Boston thing is... Jesus, the Boston thing is different. Calling someone an underground railroad is entirely appropriate if it involves smuggling members out and exploiting class to a place where they will be safe and free. True. I think the reason why it felt a little bit inappropriate is because even though it's appropriate to the historical context, referring to slavery, referring to an in-game thing, using names of real-life slavery um, struggles. You know what I mean? It feels like a bit too serious of a thing to just compare to some robots. This was my theory. I know, like, as I was saying at the time, I know historically it makes sense. Alkirion's bipping, by the way. Oh, he's dead. Alkirion, thank you, but goodbye. Let's get rid of these lights. They're going to cause problems. That's why I said it's on the line but not over it. Yes, exactly. I think we agreed at the, at the time, right? But like Mindright says, it, it makes sense, but I don't know whether... Yeah, I, I may be being too sensitive. It's probably not necessary, but it felt like something that was maybe... There's so many turrets. Oh, sorry, that was the Mindright. That's... Jesus, that was as loud now as it was the first time. Okay, I'm feeling a bit overly confident, have you noticed? I've not saved yet, have I? Ow, that really hurt. That really fucking hurt. Look at my health! Oh, she fucked me up. Okay, I'm using a stim pack. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. She broke my leg. I'm saving. I'm saving, fuck it. All right. We're alive. Team two, you nearly got a win there. There's a power relay coil as well, which I'm inclined to take because I got screwed by not having one before. Where's the searchlight? Take that out as well. Fuck, I nearly died. Okay, here we go. There's still time. FLL3 turbo pump bearings. Bang. Some bottle caps. Absolutely smashing. Good. Right back to the fucking ship. How many fetch quests is it going to take me on? If we're in Splinter Cell now. I'll give it credit though, 12, and good afternoon. The game does feel really good as a stealth game. I got myself thirsty, didn't I? Uh, purified water, that's my last one. And then I'm not drinking a Quantum just to get my health back up. I'll have a much chop. Whew, alright. 
I'll have a quick loot just to make sure I've looted everything. Alkirion, thank you for everything. My brackets are wibbly wibbly. No, let's just leave. 12, good afternoon. Yeah, it feels really good as a stealth game. Because according to the loading screens, light level and everything... I've never come out this exit. This might be full of fucking raiders. Oh, shit. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Marbles is in one hour, everybody. I've, I'm having to have another shorter stream today. I apologise. And we've got a new system for uh, getting yourself a marble. I'm so good at these, but I had to correct my fucking typo. Yeah, Scotty, uh, we discussed your theory for chops. And if you think about it, Scotty, when I died that time, I reverted all the way back to the bed. When the game crashed, I reverted all the way back to the bed. So despite the fact that I died after a crash, I still died, but we started from the same point. And I think even if I die and the game crashes and I revert back to before the death, I have still failed at the video game and my health has gone to zero, right? Regardless of whether it's a cannon death. Oh shit, there's actually quite a lot of them. I didn't even see that lady there. I just missed the 93 chance. I just missed two na uh, 85 plus chance shots. Anthony looks like a shit Mark Donovan from in between us. Well, as in Man United, Anthony. That's quite true, actually. <laughs> Only a fucking coward hide. Where have you lot come from? Don't do this. I'm so glad I put the long scope on Overseas Guardian. Look at this. Imagine if I had this fucking gun when I took Carl Vega the first time. Okay, I need to actually get out of here. I might get myself seen. Let's just leave. I need to go back to the Constitution. I don't want to deal with raiders. I want to go talk to robots. They're more fun and less shooty. Apart from the ones that want to know whether I'm a communist. I've hit Bethesda's everything in stealth is a one-shot stage, yeah. And I'm glad to be here. Victory by any, th any means necessary. Also, Trim, it helps that Overseer's Guardian, currently, the weapon I've got, thanks to a lot of particular upgrades I've been doing, now hits for 222 damage base. That pipe rifle that I was using at the start of the game hit for 58, to compare. I hate this area, it's too hostile. It's a lot of damage, it's a good lot of damage. I've got two bosses to kill yet, Trim. I'll let you know how Saffron goes on Thursday. I refuse to acknowledge Fresh is coming until I've done so. Press 1 to Vertibird back to the Constitution. Next Thursday, no, Tuesday in fact. Tuesday coming. Alkirion says two. Of course you do, because you're on fucking team two. CCK says two. Two bosses in a pregnancy are required, yeah. You're going to have to cover the pregnancy bit for me, though, Trim. My dress says one. Respect. See, that's the, that's the route. That's how you do it. You go on team two, and then you vote against your best interests. Or you go on team one and vote against your best interests. Five. Four, three, two, one. Looks like we're walking, everybody. Where better way to announce your presence to people with big shooty guns that set off flares? Yeah, exactly. Like them fucking idiots over there firing great big green balls of bullshit all over the place. Simply because we are long overdue for an encounter. Unless you've started really roaming from the banks of the river... I'm hopeful that I don't run into you at this point. I need hub flower, don't I, for uh, making great mentats? Hey, here's a... Hang on a minute. Lone Wanderer just screwed me out of carry capacity. 
So Lone Wanderer 1 gets me another 50 carry capacity. Lone Wanderer 2 gets me 100. And Lone Wanderer 3... So Lone Wanderer 1, I take 15% less damage and get... Uh, take 15% less damage and get carry weight, carry weight increase. I can't read. When adventuring without a companion at Lone Wanderer 2, I get 30% damage resistance and 100 carry weight. And this just gives me 20. That's ridiculously powerful. Brilliant. Level 40. Tippy top. I can buy a mount now. Or it was a typo. Nah, I think mind I think Mindrite's playing it correctly. He wants to earn his points. Not by just making me do nothing of any real danger. Do you have the gold though? If you've not got the gold when you get to level 40, are you really playing it correctly? Because as we all know with open world RPG MMOs, there's only one correct way to play anything. <laughs> See the Brotherhood are in the area anyway, I could have just got a lift, but no, you want me to just walk around on my knees? Here they come, look. In fact, I'm just going to sit here for a second and watch them pass, because what the Brotherhood do is just drag trouble around with them, wherever they go. They're landing or crashing. Can I see the constitution from here? Thing is, if you're levelling at your professions as you level, you should be making some decent cash. What are you doing? I mean, the visuals are impressive, but this is terrifying. Okay, let's not go through this firefight. Whatever it is, let's let the Brotherhood deal with it. Not my problem. Leveling my professions as I level. Jesus, I just said that. That's exactly correct though, is it not? Where's the mistake? They've had to drop to night off to do some bipping. You do level your professions as you level, right? Oh, I see, I see. I was talking to the Brotherhood. You know it. I thought you were saying Jesus had just said that as if you'd made some massive mistake and in what you'd said and you were trying to shame yourself for doing it. Okay, ghouls. Look, 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 look. The Brotherhood have stirred up the fucking ghouls. And then I go and miss my shot. And now, me killing that one is that... Okay, this is stressing me out. Oh, I've, I've woke up an entire church full of frigging ghouls. Kill that one. Kill this one. It's all XP, right? Is that it? Thank you. I'm not even going to go over and loot them. None of them were legendary, and it's making me nervous being close to the Brotherhood when they're in this mood. That church... That, the overpass just collapsed and crushed half of this church and this town. God didn't save them. So this is... What was the name of that town I was in before? Somebody's got to have a good memory, but I don't. Where I got scammed by that little knobhead. Where was that? Something hill. Bunker hill. Me, me, me. Just like fucking Siddles. Everybody ever is talking to or about Siddles. Okay, the super mutants are what the Brotherhood are fighting. There's two fucking vertebrates! Jesus Christ. Do I take a shot at him for something? Yeah. And I'm back in hidden. That's just free XP. Ah, Christ, I'm going stretch. So I follow this road, right? We go past Big Tower Town. Thanks, Alkyrion, for... To Bunker Hill. Not to Bunker Hill. Past, but... Maybe I should have some sugar in this iron brew. Fresh is not on Thursday, Trim. I see what you mean now. Okay. I assume I'm safe if I'm walking past this place, right? 
Remember that time that I was in Bunker Hill and I bought a bed and was not provided. Okay, the super mutants are winning. The Brotherhood are down one vertebrate already. They can't have that fucking many. Can I go through here? Although this is a street I've not walked. There's really trouble outside the Constitution, because there always is. Apparently the Raiders have attacked this place. According to... Um, Ironsides. 17 times. Got as many as they need, no more, no less. I don't think they do. They might have all been destroyed. Hello? Is there a sniper on top of this building trying to attack the, the Rizzler? That's fine, we'll leave him. This is the guy that takes my head off, by the way, when I'm talking to... Uh, I'm talking to iron sides. What? Okay, I want that guy dead actually. If I'm up there chitty chatting and doing dialogue stuff and there's a guy with a sniper rifle, what sounds like a relatively powerful one. Up on one of those rooftops. Come on, peek. Let me get up. And now he's shooting at the Brotherhood, because the Brotherhood have turned up and ruined yet another... There's got to be a guy living on that roof. There he is, I saw him for a split second. You can see him moving, look. Projecting Bethesda's hitboxes. Tits. Come on, pal, show your face. No, it's not happening, is it? Even with this thing. Hello, Mr. Ironsides! I need this down here, don't I? I could have been soaring through the skies thanks to you people, but no, I'll carry on, CCK. Ruin my perfect chances of a pleasant journey. Now I've got more XP and wasted money. Tis an honor to crew such a story vessel. Oh, I've got his captain's quarters keys. Look at this. Oh, this is fancy. Right, don't steal from the man. Is that a napkin or a... Sorry, not sorry. Right, I don't mean to be rude here. Please don't take this the wrong way. But how the fuck does Captain Ironsides get in here as captain? Pay for three hours a day. You're the 18th person to say that today, Harry, and the fact that I'm letting down one more person makes me happier every time. I'm fat shit. I am, yeah. Right, this is a partially dismantled turbo pump. When fully operational, it can deliver fuel to an enormously powerful engine. Install. You carefully put the bearings into the fuel chamber, then close the assembly. You put the now fully assembled turbo pump into place. I hate being 19th. <laughs> Harry, look to the stream. Right, we've got my turbo pump, we've got my navigation device, we've got the wires fixed. Tier 3 for 3 hours, 2 hours, bumping my sub down to a tier 2. Shit. Good morning. 45 minutes to marbles, everybody. It's so wild, right? 3 hours feels like a long time, but 2 hours feels like nothing at all. It goes by so quick. I've not even got a chance to drink my questionable Scottish fluid. Have I just been sent on a series of fetch quests for the for the Constitution here? I guess there's a lot of skill checks and stuff along the way, right? The Brotherhood is still out there faffing. And now they've sent in yet another vertebrate to join them. Captain. Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last we'll set sail. The really? hero of the hour is to think. You've earned a double share, madam. Well done. Set sail. On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. 
Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and known. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. You're gonna what? A thing of brilliance, is it not? Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare to bro... Unless I am mistaken, I am no longer alone. Fuck, we're being attacked again! Do not think that the is... Doing all the chores for Chris Man's sexy robots. They're actually... That's a lot of fucking raiders, actually. Okay, that's one dead. They're actually gonna fire the rockets and try and fly this whole ship. <laughs> the quests are dumb. I kind of want to see them try, though, even if it's an embarrassing display of hubris from the robots. This is so many raiders. A grenade! Thank you. Okay, everybody. I could not avoid that. But could I have avoided that grenade? Now, somebody tell me if I could have avoided that grenade once I'd seen it. Doom hard chopped. 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 That fucking thing turned up with half a second on its fuse and blew up in my face. Oh, Team One, I'm sorry. Back now. <laughs> that was nasty from the game, that. That was brutal. Can you fuck off and go and pick her up now? <laughs> Doomha Lemon. Shit! Alright, I need to officially announce, by the way. For the first time in the whole playthrough, somebody has been chopped from the top of the chops list. Thandir on 17 has been cut from the list, and we now enter cheeky territory. We forgive you, Stubbler. Of course you do, you're on team two. No, it definitely counts. It was absolutely a job. The game is clearly a team two. Fuck. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely a chop, but that is, oh. It was just an unavoidable one, wasn't it? The gun is so powerful. It sure does make you invincible. Fuck! No, not to discount it. I'm just saying it's some bullshit that I couldn't really avoid. Because if you go back and watch it back, the grenade appears, I get the warning that there's a grenade, and it goes off. There is no chance for me to get away from it at all. The fuse is already, like, cut, like you say. Ah! Alright, let's get back to the Constitution. Maybe I've got enough time to try that again. Um, do I take the lower exit? I will go out here again, fuck it. I was looking at my own game when that happened. Caught it in the corner of my eye. Ah! Fucking raiders attacking. That was a lot of raiders. If they're throwing grenades up, unavoidable grenades, maybe the first thing I do is try and get down and away. Fuck, okay. I've not got Lone Wonder 2 again either. I need to get enough XP to get that back. Shit. <laughs> Fuck this difficulty. I will say one thing that is definitely true about this difficulty is grenades and throwables are insane. What was that noise? I shot that guy and the bullet went over my head. Or did I get Lone Wanderer 2? At 4, should I say. Have I already got it? 
Yeah, I already got it. I got it before I saved. Okay. So I don't need to get the XP from these losers, do I? We can just go. Even if that thing opens and a bunch of raiders come out. No? Ah, I feel like throwables are as dangerous as they should be on this difficulty. Yeah, true. True. Although, the exception, I think, is... Um, Molotovs. You throw a Molotov and like the, the sole of your shoe catches fire and you just immediately die. Which feels a little bit extreme. Look at the children of Atom with them gamma guns. Ludicrous. Your chop speed has dropped dramatically since you became a pretty princess. I think my guess is probably too high. Maybe pretty princesses are just better gamers. I mean, absolutely. But then, don't forget, the pretty princess name comes off on May the 4th. Because that will have been a month, so I'll go back to being just regular old stubbler and I'll start dying a bunch. And I'll carry on, I'll start, you know? Starting to feel like his points, his uh, guess might be correct. Clearly using, clearly using a better grade of vodka in those Molotovs, yeah. Right, I'm actually doing this, fuck you all. You can piss off. Fuck walking. What's the phrase? Third class riding is better than first class walking. And here it comes. It's coming from the east. It's true they're right, CCK. Grenades are bad in real life and they're bad in this. They don't just take a chunk of your health off, they actually kill you. But Molotov, you should be able to survive fire a little bit. Hello, friends. It's nice to see you. Are you well, gentlemen? Yeah, we're not saying that grenades are bad, though, Alkirion. We all acknowledge that. We're saying that Molotovs are, for some reason, worse. Uh, where do I land? Let's maybe land... Is a place around Bunker Hill that I could land? All systems go. We're clear for takeoff. Your minigun should be loaded and ready to fire. Good shooting, ma'am. Ah, you're all good. Don't worry about that. Just don't fly through... ...bridges. Why are we going this way? I need to go east. Just getting away from the tangle of... Look at this intersection, man. <laughs> or whatever you'd call it. At what, some point, your vertebrates will probably get one shot with a Sam, yeah. <laughs> I'll deserve it as well. I do like this system, though. This is cool. Because imagine now, if I'm in the far southwest or something, and I need to get to... I don't know. Sanctuary. You're watching me fly over. I'm keeping an eye on you. I've got a bigger gun. Okay, that's just stress balls for this. Ow! I've been shot! I've been shot again! Don't crash! Don't crash! Fuck. Okay, it's fine. Where are we landing? Well, this doesn't feel ideal. That's no, fine, it's actually it's close like enough. As long as, there's... On the as long as there's no hostiles. I'm in caution. With what? Okay, don't mind that vertebrate that just got destroyed. Alright, it's fine. This was maybe the wrong way. Look at them dancing and pirouetting up there. It's beautiful. Miss me. I'm glad there's no clipping aircraft that uh, oh, mind right. Imagine. There's no place I can sleep out here, is there? Unless I go to that gentleman's house, whatever his name was, um, 
aim at the top of the building, and I'll clear that out and maybe I can sleep up there. Come on, go full Rambo mode just once. I'd die in three seconds though, Harry. Is that that entertaining? Also, I have died once today. Fucking hell, that death though. Oh, also, by the way, Santa Alkirion Martin. I died by not going Rambo mode. You can't have two deaths in a single stream, that'd be stupid. My wedding ring just fell off and landed in the toilet. I guess I'm single now. Scotty, congratulations. Right, let's see if that guy up here had a bed. A drug den. Brilliant. I'm just nipping inside a drug den really quick. Just bear with me. Lit a match. That's fine. Ask the owner of the brothel if she'll leave diner on. That's the guy that lit the match. Couldn't believe good afternoon. I'm only nipping in here so I can try and save. What on earth are karma waters? You know, Fisty. I'm doing a ship about a quest. A quest for a quest about a ship. Is this whiskey? Whiskey bottles. Taken for purified water. The opposite of choppy water. <laughs> Fisty. Oh, it's true. Overseer's guardian, you animal. Just trying to find a bed. Think I'm you just... can hide? Yeah. I'm just in here to find a bed. <laughs> okay, for a veteran, he should know better than to run downstairs with his head on the st each step. There's not many drugs in here for a drug den. Fisty, quick blade. Under the tree. Why am I whispering? Yeah, there is a bed. <gasps> exactly what I was looking for. I just got. I just died because somebody threw a grenade up on top of the ship. Is that another recon score? Okay, let's sleep for three hours. That should make us wake up about 3 a.m. Yeah, that guy's head just flew off. I think there's a guy up here, so I need to be on alert. Watching you and a couple of other streamers has gotten me to download a mod Fallout 4 again. Do it. Hey, speaking of which, if that update did just come out that adds all the new stuff and fixes the game up a little bit, or whichever one of those it did, I didn't see it. And it doesn't seem to have affected any mods. Hmm. Maybe we got away with it. Marbles is in 30 minutes, everybody. I don't think it did, Scotty. No, I didn't see it. I forgot about that completely, even though Gwynblade warned me this morning. I just opened the game and started streaming. There's a guy up here. Oh. Right. Nice. Okay, good. It's showing it pending as of now. It wasn't there before the stream. Oh, so maybe when I turn it off, it'll start updating. Everybody... Oh my, okay. It turns out the, those eaves or whatever it is on that building aren't actually real and you can fall down, but thankfully... Whew. I can't that I got away with that. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did. The update wasn't out yesterday. I personally prevented it. I won't let it update until it doesn't break all the new shit I just installed. Yeah. 16 gig download. Damn, yeah, this is the, the last stream of this game in its current state before it gets its big 2024 update. Okay, that vertebrate's freaking me out a little bit. Right, how do I survive this attack? I wonder if it maybe was just a sort of ambient thing and it doesn't necessarily have to happen. 
I think it's more than that, Fisty. I think there's new... Isn't there new content coming at some point? I don't know if it's on this update or not. So support for widescreen and some bug fixes. That's all that's in today. Right, put this in the captain's quarters, right? Stick that in there. Install. Lovely. I've already done this once, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm flying through it. All right, I need to survive this ambush if it happens. Some Bethesda bug fixes. I mean, if it runs better on OBS, I'd like it. Didn't break your unofficial patch. Yeah, I haven't got the the FS F4SE or whatever. Oh, it will break it. I see. Yeah, that's a problem for Monday for me, I guess. But it might not need as many of the things that the um, unofficial patch fixes. Some new content it says included some create included some creation club content. Yeah. All right, Ironsides, a word. Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, madam. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings unknown. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after... Gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. You're gonna what? A thing of brilliance, is it not? Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Right. They've got fucking rocket launchers as well. Okay, I need to defend the Constitution. What I'm gonna do is run away at full speed. These nerds threw a grenade earlier and killed me. This quest is lethal. We're going to do this from a distance. There's one. 63 chance and it's not going to kill him. Maybe I do it manually. Wimp. Damn, this guy's got some health, by the way. Never mind. Everybody spends half their time saying that... I'm... Wait... Is that somebody down there? If I can die to grenades that I can't avoid, then I'm just not going to get involved, right? It is a stealth playthrough. That's a, that's a legendary. Okay, if that legendary comes this way, crit, right? Jesus. Man the cannons! Raise the mizzen mast. Oi! This guy is so blind. He's like, there's fire coming from over here. <laughs> that looks so shit. His head just went... Boop. He's doing one as well. Ask him and he'll tell you about it. Right. He do not know I'm here. One of these he's going to hit. Obviously his guardian right in the head, in the stomach or something. Head go nice. boom. I don't know why it's got the one of the robots marked as a hostile. Did I accidentally shoot the robot? Because that would suck. Oh, nice shot. If I don't say so myself. I really am worried that I've accidentally host made all the raiders hostile. The robots. That guy's just leveled up. Oh, he's... It, okay, right. Time for a crit. Lovely. You're hostile. You can die. Okay, the navigator's not hostile. I haven't upset all the robots. Scavenger. Okay, this is just this just okay, I'm gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Okay, 
Oh, that robot got shit on. Shit, they keep chasing me down here. Good work, Overseas Guardian. Gun sounds like mean and sneezy. But it hits like a truck. Is this ever going to end? This is so much chopping. Oop, that guy's coming, that guy's coming. Suski! Nice. Oh, the robot died. Are we good? No. Toss a grenade. I think I might damage the robot in a kind of, in true Bethesda fashion, where you can kill every quest giver. I kind of don't want to accidentally upset the robots. Okay, just a ghoul. That's fine. Don't worry about that. I like this. Though. This is fun. I actually feel like I'm providing support instead of carrying everything, like usually. That guy threw a molotov off his own head. That's fine. Oh, you dick. He just crouched at the wrong time. Okay, should I maybe go up, up top? Sniping from a flanking position is pretty effective. That guy's dead. Done. Apparently. Got into Ironside. Yeah, but apparently there's still fucking raiders showing up. We good? I think they're robots. They're friendlies. I'm going up. I'm risking it. Le leaving. They might be fleeing. Yeah, they're running. Look. <laughs> With heavy circuit boards, I proclaim this victory. Good work, Mr. Ironsides. That was a lot of friendly. You absolute lobster. Trim, it was, un it was actually unavoidable. You should see it. Mr. Ironsides, sir. Hello? Mr. Einstein? Sir? He's doing a Windows update. What? Yeah, those are friendly, though, Fisty. I don't... This is my recon scopes marked, those. Because there's no pit markings, is there, in survival, so... Hello? I'm not in caution. Let me zone out and come back. I'll still repeat Death Helkirian. I'd never fall for the same shit twice. What do you take me for? I wonder if you saved left and came back. Yeah, I'd have to go find a bed though. I can exit save and come back in, I suppose. This'll just like rezone the area. I'm worried that them robots are actually hostile. You're gonna ride the constitution into the sea, right? I have a feeling it's just gonna blow up mine, right? I can't imagine this thing can fly. Right, twenty minutes of the stream remaining. I hope this can get fixed. I want to see what happens. I'm excited for this. Mr. Ironside's a word. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Elliot. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. True. Our hands, prepare ship for launch. You're still going through with this? Given time, the scavengers will regroup. It may be now or never. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Auxiliary generator? There you go, Mindra. If I'm on an auxiliary generator, I might have to just watch. Where's the generator? On the top deck of the Royal Arms Apartments. 
scavengers may yet remain, so have a care. Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, madam. What the fuck is that? Is that a cannon? A broadside. It fires cannonballs for 141 damage. It weighs fucking 30. Jesus. All right. I'll take that. The new pack. Yeah, I was just saying, Gwynblade, it's not shown up just yet, so that'll have to be for Monday, I suppose. And now I'm over encumbered because you just give me a fucking cannonball launcher. Only by three, though, so let me. He's just done it for you now, Gwynblade. I guess it'll wait until it's finished, right? For me, at least. Right, what can I get rid of? Let's just drop some shit. I've probably got some junk I don't want. Two whiskey bottles. Drink all your nuka cola. So where's this thing? Where's this? Sakurai, welcome to the stream. I hate armor and weapon sorting of Fallout 4. I quite like it. Well, I've not done too much of it just yet. So where's this? It's available on Xbox as well. Welcome to the stream, though, Sakurai. I hate Stubbler. I hate you too. I want to see you blast that from stealth. Oh, God, imagine, yeah. Right, so it's this way somewhere. Okay. But well, there might still be raiders, so have a care. I'm looking forward to this. See, I don't know if it's going to... like I, 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 We can almost assume it's not going to actually work, right? They're not going to be able to fly this ship. Because they're kind of just working on old... Oh, this is the... Oh, it is, it's up here. They're kind of just working on old protocols, aren't they, I think. But I am interested to see what actually happens. Also, the game made me cheat, not because of making or adjusting any damage values, but to just carry weight, I am a pack rat. I mean, there's good perks and stuff for it, right? Oh god, what is this? I'm going to turn alerts off just in case. This looks like it might be a big moment. Ah! Mr. Navigator! Misses. Hoy soldier, we're ready for our auxiliary power. This got to blow up. Ship stands ready, soldier. Power up at will. Power nominal. Excellent. Commencing final countdown. Yeah, facing the sea. Three. Bon voyage. Quarter fathom! They've made it! Good work, team. They've smashed into whatever that... <laughs> it's not going to be there for the rest of the game now. <laughs> it's silly bullshit game for me. I died for that. I got my 19th death in favour of a <laughs> quarter. Alright, that's silly. Good work. Good work. Good work, Bethesda. Good work. Alright, alerts are back on. Please don't say our cannonball launcher is now not accessible. Let me have a look. One second, Fisty. I think I turned the alerts back on just as you were sending them. 
This is the best quest ever. <laughs> and I have Stubbler to thank for seeing it for the first time. So it's actually the first time? The Broadsider. No, I dropped, um, I just ate some stuff, 6-4. This thing is silly. And that's where it was. I mean, if I was a heavy weapons type of player, this thing would be... Okay, <laughs> all right, fair enough. Right, I guess we've got just enough time to go back to Hangman's Alley and, uh, and sort our lives out, but... Okay, that was daft. That means then that because I'm the stream is slightly shorter today, that I suppose next week we can start by um, finally helping Preston retake whatever uh, castle he was talking about. Don't waste the ammo. <laughs> I can't see me using it a great deal, though, mind it. Oh, that was daft. Okay. Thanks, Fallout. Yeah, I never saw it before. Definitely have to find it on my next playthrough. I just went towards the ship, I suppose. Um, I think we can walk it, can't we? I should probably save in that house back there. Put a scope and a suppressor on. Alright, CCK, we might be coming back by your uh, dangerous self. If it was me, I'd keep the weapon just for the memory. I probably will, yeah. I'm a sentimental idiot as well, don't worry, Fisty. That's silly. So can we just see it at all times now? Where did they set off? <laughs> what was I saying about it's pretty cool that the Pridwins just sat on the horizon now and it feels like the game's changing. The game world is changing. It's definitely changed now. Christ. Giddy with anticipation of us finally meeting. If I die on the way home, I have to restart that. I have to do that again. And I'm sure nobody would want to watch that happen again, would they? Seriously, I adore the robot captain, yeah. Ironsides. What a daft game. Are you friendly? Oh, is that one of the lookouts from the Constitution? Has he fallen and now don't know where he's going? Let's leave him to it. He'll be the hero of Team 2. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where you, I, yeah, still don't know where that location was. Tagsack thinks it's a bit further down the riverside, and he might be right. Defending the ship. Oh, that was good. Oh, I'm angry about that death, though. I don't like deaths where I had nothing I could do about it. Could I have predicted they'd throw grenades up? Maybe. Maybe. You would expect that I would have a bit of time to avoid it, right? I'm not angry about it. Well, I didn't think you would be Team 2. I do really like how the game world progresses. Like, the skies were quiet last week. And there wasn't a great big fucking ship on top of a building in downtown. And the Pridwin wasn't there. And now, like, the emergent... I mean... What are you doing? What? Talk to me about unavoidable deaths. <laughs> well, okay. 
Now, there is probably an argument to say that that was a bug. That cannot, that was not on fire, that was not billowing smoke from one of its engines, that was not going down, that was, there was nothing there that was working in as intended. <laughs> I don't think I'm claiming that one. This rate will never have our meeting. Thank for, for literally making me roll in my bed laughing. <laughs> Fuck, you did just stop there and watch it. Yeah, but it was still a bug, right? Even if I just watched a bug kill me. Well, that was quite comfortably two of the dumbest moments in the Fallout playthrough back to back right there. Jesus, having hundreds of hours in the game, I can say this, that has never happened to me before. Neff as well to the stream. Orator. What do you... What, what, I, I, I don't get the context, Martin. Neff as how's it going? I've literally never seen this happen to anyone. I don't think that's a chop. It was a fucking funny death, but I don't think that was a chop. That was... <laughs> the fact that all of these Fallout experts are saying that's not supposed to happen. It could have run. Just because I can see a bug coming doesn't mean it's not a bug. All right, explain to me then. You've got to explain me down from my position of that was a bug and the reason I died to a bug was because it was a bug. I'm not an expert, but I can say that is supposed to happen. <laughs> Didn't expect them to fall from the sky. I thought fucking things were flying. You could have run. It was a bug. A bug killed me. Even if I could have avoided the bug, a bug killed me. You know? I've seen vertebrates crash, but I've not seen them bugged crash, Scotty. Not a bug. Nah, I don't, I, I don't buy it at all. That looked like that vertebrate was out of control for a reason that wasn't damage. It wasn't on fire. It wasn't billowing smoke. It wasn't getting shot at. It hadn't come from combat. It just all of a sudden hit a tailspin and headed straight for the riverbank. Scotty, I'll repeat. No fire, no billowing smoke, no gunfire, no... No... I thought it was going to happen again then. Somebody sniped the pilot. Maybe... Oh god, I quite like the Brotherhood though. They just annihilated the guy on the cannon. I didn't see them under fire. Like, if someone had been shooting at him, I'd have expected him to fall, but just randomly flying? Yeah, and it wasn't flying correctly. It was. No. I don't think that's a bug. Unless you could see that somebody sniped the pilot, then definitely. Let me have a look. Now, oh, Kirion's clipped it, Mindred's clipped it, and Martin's clipped it. They're all called What Are You Doing? I can't show it on screen because I've not got it set up to do so, but let me have a look. New patch adds quests, does it? Yeah, that looking at it, that's that's not a chop. That looks like that vertebrate is bugged. I'm all for taking responsibility. This happened to you as well, mine. Yeah, the more I watch it, the less I'm convinced. I'm actually with Stubbler on this one. My reaction to it, or lack thereof, <laughs> it's still a brilliant moment, but I don't think... I think that bug was coming towards... That That was... Yeah. Has anybody got any more arguments? I can be talked down from this, by the way. People always say, oh, Stubbler, when you believe something, you say you can argue it, but you never believe it. They spin out and crash, but normally after being shot down. Yeah. All right, five minutes left, everybody. I don't know what we do at this point. I get, at least we get to watch this shit again tomorrow, I suppose. That doesn't look to me... Uh, if that had spun out and crashed on fire and as all of the others had crashed, I would completely take my lumps there. I didn't have carry on. No, I just... I literally walked out of the building and set off on the riverside and then that happened. I was doing a two-minute walk, so it didn't feel like I needed to save. Okay, I'm going to make my way up here. I'm going to kill this guy. Yeah, there's a bed here, which was just nearby, but 
there was no bed in immediately. I tried and I had a look, but there wasn't one. Yeah, I don't think so, Scotty, alas. Consider this, removing the chop from what you were suggested earlier. <laughs> earlier, though, that wasn't a death. That was a that was an unavoidable death. Uh, sorry, that was a chop. It was an unavoidable death, but that felt well within the game mechanics. That didn't feel like something fell out of the sky that wasn't supposed to. So that was not a bug. That was a giant, metallic, terribly piloted ship that killed you. <laughs> How about this? If we can see that happen again in the future and it feels fully explained in game's context, I will admit defeat and we'll add a chop on. Deal, Scotty? Anyway, we've not got a great deal of time left for anything else, so I came up here to say, but I got here a lot sooner than I thought I was going to. Tomorrow then, no, on Monday, I think we're going to start with seeing this off and then we'll head back and we'll do Preston stuff. It was a death. Yeah. Technically, I think the traffic light. <laughs> there was a traffic light on the footage, right? Yeah. The if you're referring to the grenade one, where the, the somebody threw a grenade at me and it blew up and killed me, that is a legit death. But if a vertebrate bugs and just flies straight towards me when it's not supposed to and blows up, then the word bug is pretty. Yeah. I'd do a ones and twos thing with this, but I have a feeling people would just... Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll leave it then until the future, and then we will see if if that looks more like a feature than just an error with the pathing on the vertebrate, then we'll add it. Now, if it was to happen again, and you know what you're doing, if it's going out of control, even if it's not being shot at. True. I don't know. Because it's like the car thing, right? Scotty said there was a car that I stood on and it killed me. Now, I know that happens, but if it was to happen again, it's still a bug that's killed me. Good thing that was your second shot today, not the first. It is actually hairy, yeah, because it means that we can discuss this without Team 2 getting upset. Maybe their intent was to take me out with the vertebrate. <laughs> it's, just, it's just some huge conspiracy by the Brotherhood to lull me into a false sense of security and then drive a vertebrate into my forehead for no reason. Some cars do blow up. They do, but it was uh, a, the car that killed me, Fisty. There's a, Scotty was saying there's a known bug where if you just touch a car at all, the physics on the car freaks out and you die. And that's what happened. Yeah, we can discuss that. I'm willing to be proven wrong, but in from my gut feeling, I don't think that vertebrate was meant to do that, frankly. Yeah, uh, Pat Scotty was saying it's a known bug, so there is a chance that it could happen again. And if it does happen again, it's still a bug that killed me, right? Because the most fun of all, the, like, chop, the whole idea of the chop counter is that it's death by misadventure, right? I think Windblade called it, which is correct. It's death by me not being very good at the game. Whereas what happened there was some kind of pathing error which forced a vertebrate to come straight towards me, even if it wasn't pointing in the right direction, even if the elevation wasn't correct, and even though there was a key side in the way, it just made a beeline for me for no reason. I feel like the vertebrate thing is the equivalent of a death by a flying mammoth. <laughs> anyway, I've discussed it to death. I just don't want to be accused, because people have accused me in the past of when I feel passionately about something, not listening to their takes on it and just going with whatever I feel, which... Is that a bad thing? Anyway, unfortunately, I've run out of time. That was a bit of a strange ending to the stream, but we might have got one of the best clips of the Fallout 4 playthrough. Ever. Fuck me. Either way, I still died once, so... And we have to repeat this crap, thanks to that bug. But, unfor but sorry, fortunately for us, this crap is maybe one of the stupidest and funniest cutscenes we've seen so far. I don't care either way, I just love teasing you. Respect, respect. However, given it's Thursday, 55 is on the clock and I have to leave early. I'm sorry for these slightly short streams, but hopefully we should be able to uh, get her car back and get everything sorted. But I need to go and pick her up from work, so for now, even though it's a slight bit early, it's time for marbles. I love you all. Goodbye. We do pay you to entertain us and reinforce our perceptions, don't we? Isn't that what this is all for? <laughs> Listen, I I do feel like I am more than willing to listen to all kinds of um, counter-arguments, and I'm sat offering the counter-arguments up. 
but I feel strongly in one direction and nothing yet has taken away any of my conviction. Just buy a new one from all the steam money. A new one, sorry, cats. Cats, welcome to the stream. I can only feel love for the uh, shop piloted by a pirate robot. I know, right? What Stubble says goes, geez, when will you learn? No, he ever listens to us. He says it's democracy, but he just sits there being all handsome. Right, I love you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. It's time for the Doom House to go play marbles, and I need to go and pick up my dickhead girlfriend. Stop distracting him. I need to go soon. So do I, actually. Right, thanks for that. Welcome to the stream. Thank you all for joining me for the Fallout. I'll see you all on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for more of the same. But for now, it's time for marbles. It's time to pick a winner. And it's time to get out of here. If you're in the Doom House Discord, you can join us for marbles. As you can see, thanks to the Greens, they are now in the lead. After a stunning performance yesterday by... I can't remember who won. Who won yesterday? I can't fucking remember who won yesterday. But whoever it was, I'm sure they deserved it. Tax like welcome to the stream. We're out of the Fallout section. Let's play marbles super quick. Let's get out of here. Was it Gwynblade that won? It might have been Gwynblade that won. Yeah. Either way, the greens are on 60 points and the oranges are on 59. If you would like to join in for today's marbles, you must be in the Doom House Discord, which is linked down below. All you have to do is join and I will uh, select your colour. Then we'll go from there. If you are already good been through that process, though, you can start. You can join marbles by typing the new system for entry. The bot proof system. It was somebody really handsome. Did Chaz win? Yeah, that seems more familiar. Yeah, Chaz won, of course he did. Chaz for the greens, not Gwynblood for the greens. All right, if you want to join in for today's uh, marbles, you must simply type the password, and the password for today is... the third letter of your Twitch screen name. Go. Or number. One of these days it'll write a word. You won yesterday, apparently, Chaz. I'm in a meeting. Yeah, that's all right, kid. We know you're there. All right, we've got trim for the greens. We've got Satan for the oranges. 12 for the oranges. Dougie for the greens. Jamie for the greens. How many days does cats have to sit out for botting? 6-4 <laughs> for the greens Fisty for the greens Alcarion for the oranges Martin for the greens Scotty for the greens Gwimblade for the greens Taxlap for the oranges Mindrite for the oranges Santa for the greens the oranges. Cats for the greens. Chaz for the greens. Fucking hell. Harry for the greens. Mina for the oranges. And Chris Man, my love, welcome to the stream for the oranges. I'm assuming you're here, Chris Man, right? Chris Man wouldn't bot. He loves me too much. Chris Man, welcome to the stream. I will welcome to the uh, stream, everybody else. If you're just joining, we've got 20 marbles entering the race. I need to go qu pretty quickly, so somebody fucking win fast. We've got Trim, Satan, 12, Dougie, Jamie, 6 4, Fisty, Alcarion, Martin, Scotty, Gwynblade, Tagslack, Mindrite, Santa, Kitten, Cats, Chaz, Harry, Mina, and Chris Man. Eight, no, eight oranges and 12 greens. Terry Pibble here, yes, for my love. Chris Man, it's good to see you. Hopefully that's going well. One, two, three, four presses of the random button gets us to the level coils of power. 20 marbles enter. Three, two, pull out Martin. Did I pull him out? Wait, what did I do? Are you really here, Chris Man? Of course he is. Trim is the record holder on this level. Trim is desperate for points. Chris Man gets a point. Trim gets a point. Uh, Fisty gets a point. There's a number of people that if they get points this year, Jamie as well, they throw all of the qualification up in the air. Three, two, one. 
Easy green, unlucky. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, I'm having to do slightly shorter streams, easy green. I apologise. But hopefully I'll be alright and we'll be back tomorrow. Easy green, good morning. Can Chris Man or Jamie or Trim or Fisty have an upset? Or Martin as well. Martin yet to get his first point. See, that's been the story of this year. We don't usually have to worry about qualification. Sorry. We usually have to worry about who qualifies for Eurovision. Because tons and... We say everybody's got their points by this point. But we've got, as I say, Chris Man, Razor, Fister, Fisty, sorry, Fandia, Trim, Martin. All of these people yet to get their first... Martin has taken a big chop. It will not be Martin today. Bullshit, he says. There's so many people that are yet to get just a single point because, like, it's all stacking at the top. Chaz has fallen as well. It won't be Chaz for a second time. Gwynblade also down. I think I can see Mina and Jamie in the pit there trying to get out. Kitten's in the lead on this side. Satan's taking a big chop. Kitten looks to be... This looks strong from Kitten. Here comes Chris Man. Can Chris Man beat Kitten? Kitten has dropped. Kitten's having a run all the way to the end. She might not. Kitten needs a despawn or Chris Man's going to get his first point and throw Eurovision qualification into jeopardy. Here comes Chris Man. Oh. <laughs> Chris Man wins his first point of 2024. Meaning we now have 27 out of 26 people for Eurovision. That means the Eurovision line now moves above one point. Right, so everybody on one point will now have to play off to qualify for the final spot. Right? However... Oh, he got two points as well. Chris Man got two points. The oranges have clawed it back. However, whenever we do this shit, that means... Trim, get a load of this. That means that one person that has zero points might actually get through. Because now what happens is everybody on one point is going to fight for those last spots. But everybody who is hyper-regular, who has zero points, will now enter a playoff as well. <laughs> it's complicated. You'll get it when you see it. Everybody on zero points. So that's your Trims, that's your Fisties, that's your Martins, that's your Razors, that's your Thandias, etc. They will all now... Playoff, and the winner of that goes into the one point pool. And then everybody in the one point pool fights for the final spots. Chris Mann is your person of the century of the day, and we now enter the chaos section. Eurovision is coming up in a few weeks, everybody. We know how it works. Go pick up the knobhead. That's true, actually. Chris Mann, congratulations. You are person of the century of the day on a double point stream. So now I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to say Team 1 who put 100,000 channel points in. Trim, good effort. 109,000 was Alkerion on Team 2. Alkerion is the beef, and Alkerion has benefited from the 157,000 channel points that went on Team 1. Oof. Alkerion and the boys, congratulations. I died. It was not a chopless stream. Congratulations, Team 2. But I need to press this, I need to press this, I press, press this, and I need to run and go pick up the knobhead. Oh, well, that was a frustrating stream. I got killed by a runaway fucking vertebird at the end. Shit. But that is it for today. Your person of the century of the day is Chris Mann for the Oranges, winning two points, putting the Oranges. Not only did they equalise, they went a point ahead. Orange now 61 to Chris Mann's 60. Is this place too complicated? I think it's too fucking complicated. All right, watch that. Right, I love you all, but I'm getting out of here. Um... Team scores end 61 to 60 in favour of the Oranges. If you'd like to compete in any of this shit, there'll be another one uh, on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for Fallout. I'll see you on tomorrow for uh, Portal, which I hope won't be the end of it, but there might be a spot on Monster Marvels tomorrow as well because everything's getting fucking complicated. I'll see you there. Can somebody think of a final word as I thank you all for being here? Thank you for the support, the host, the raids, and everything. You are all very generous. Cheeky is live if you fancy continuing watching Doom House Rubbish. I'm sure Alkerion's probably live as well. Look out for Chris, man. Look out for everybody else. Well, that is it. I've said enough shit. Thank you all for being here. I need to rush out. The fucking hell. 
Mind right, say, uh, Santa, Satan, cats, Trim, Fisty, Mina, and everybody else that's been here today. I love you all. I will see you all tomorrow. But the final word for today from Santa is fucking vertibird. <laughs>